I just can't help but notice how smart this team looks. I look around at this squad and I see a bunch of high IQ football knowledge guys. Every single NFL team could use a great locker room presence like one of these fine gentlemen. Scrappy, sneaky, athletic. Now taking one good look at him, he might not blow you away with explosiveness, athleticism, even swagger. But one thing I can promise is the gentlemen that I put on this team will be the first ones in the door, the last ones out. They're a lunch pail guy. And this is the exact kind of guy I could picture dating my daughter. I built an entire team full of sneaky athletic NFL players. Let's talk about this squad. On the offensive line, we have Garrett Bowles, Joe Tooney, Jason Kelsey, Brandon Scherf, and Luke. Godic. I chose these five guys because every single one of them, it just felt like they had grit. That's what we're looking for on this team. Tight ends were easy. There were a ton of tight ends that I found that had this sneaky athletic profile, but I decided to go with Sam Laporta and George Kittle. I'm not going to lie. Wide receivers were more difficult. As I looked around the entire NFL, I looked at a lot of these guys and I said, yeah, that guy's pretty athletic. He's got a lot of swagger, but is he scrappy? Is he a role model in the locker room? I don't know. I did find some excellent options. Cooper Cup, Alec P. Pierce and Braxton Berrios. Frankly, I just want Braxton Berrios' wife around. <laughs> The quarterback position was filled with high IQ guys. I decided to go with Eli Manning. He had 71 speed. To me, that just screams high motor. He just plays the game the right way. That's probably the better way I could describe it. At running back, we have Chris Zinn McCaffrey. He throws in an upper and a lower decker every single game. And at fullback, we have Mike Allstock. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm about to show you the defense, and you're thinking of one position as you look around the NFL that just has no grit. That a single guy in the NFL at corner is sneaky athletic. They're all just athletic. So you're wondering what I did for the corner position. Yeah, okay guys, no, I, I couldn't come up with anything. There are literally none! Although I did come up with a fun background story for each of our gentlemen. This is Sauce Gardner. He grew up in the suburbs of Ohio. He likes to tell everyone that he's from Chicago, but he's not from Chicago. He lives like 45 minutes outside of Chicago. His parents are Jewish, and he attended a private high school that cost $45,000 dollars a year. This is Patrick Sertan the second. He grew up in a farm town just 30 minutes outside of Norman, Oklahoma. He really only knows how to do three things. Hunting, fishing, and locking up your favorite wide receiver. And this is Charles Woodson. In college, he joined a fraternity, quickly developed severe alcoholism. He drinks four beers pregame and two at halftime. Linebackers wasn't too tough. We were able to get Clay Matthews, Luke Keekley, the Pat McAfee middle linebacker was perfect for this team. And Ted Hendricks. Ted Hendricks is going to be the best player on this team, I think. Six foot seven linebacker with 97 speed and 99 acceleration and lurk artist. That's gonna be a lot of fun. We got Taylor Rapp at strong safety. Uh, I literally could not find Harrison Smith on the auction house, so just use your imagination. I went Nick Bosa, Kyle Williams, Adam Gotsis, and Max Crosby on our defensive line, although there were a ton of options. Believe it or not, kicker was actually really easy to find a sneaky athletic guy. We're obviously gonna go get a game with this squad. Here's our top five. Hendricks, Eli Manning, Cooper Cup, Luke Keekley and Braxton Berrios. What I hope is that whoever I play here, I hope they pick up on it. Like, I hope they understand what I did. Also, a huge shout out to Upside for continuing to sponsor my videos and earn me crazy cash back on purchases I already make. I always use Upside when I go to get gas. It feels so good to earn cash back. Top Upside earners are making as much as $300. The free Upside app gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and eating out. There are over 100000 and gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores that are on the Upside app, ensuring that cash back is always just around the corner. It is real cash back on purchases that you and I already make. Here's how it works. You claim an offer within the Upside app for whatever you're buying. Then you head to the store and pay as usual with a credit or debit card. Follow the steps in the app and get paid. To find out how much you could earn, you can click the link in the top of the description to download and use my promo code MATTHEWM. That will get you an extra 25 cents back on every every gallon on your first tank of gas. The best way I can describe the Upside app is it's a powerful tool that will empower you to spend smarter, especially because it's on things that we already buy. So click that link in the top of the description, use that promo code Matthew M, and enjoy the rest of the video. Ted Hendricks, Eli Manning, Cooper Cup. That's just got to set off red flags. Anybody who sees that top there, they got to know. Mahomes, Carmichael, Puka Nakua. Now, Puka Nakua is a good example. I was thinking about putting Puka Nakua on the squad, but I think he is, he's technically Samoan, you know, Polynesian, something like that. We can't claim that as white. Or sorry, not white, sneaky athletic. We can't claim that as high motor gritty. 
Patrick Mahomes. Ooh, what is this? He's going to hand this puppy off to, mm, to Emma Smith. I haven't seen this offense in so long. What is he running? Adam Gotsis got a sack early. Got Luke Keekley on the user here. Hendricks on the right side. It's got to be a pass. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. Taylor Rapp. Oh, good defense. Taylor Rapp hoping for interception there, but good defense. We can open up this game with a stop right now. I got to hop on Hendricks. I got to cover a lot of space. Oh, that's a great ball. I'm not stopping Carmichael either. Ooh, Taylor Rapp. Okay. Fun fact, in my research for this video, Taylor Rapp is half Chinese. I actually, you know, the fact that he's half Chinese, I think that makes him even more sneaky athletic. I think that works in his favor. <laughs> Ted fucking Hendricks. This Ted Hendricks is disgustingly good. No, you don't house this. It's called baby. Dude, do you think you'd notice if you played somebody who intentionally only put white players out there, do you think you would notice? Knowing what I know, it seems so obvious, but I don't know if I'd be able to tell. All right, first and 10, we're going Christian McCaffrey on the edge. Big juke, big stiff arm. That's how a white man runs the football. Whoa, 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 whoa. Second and two. I'm about to just keep running the ball until they force my hand. Ooh, McCaffrey, you dirty dog. That's my offensive player of the year. Well, he actually, okay, that doesn't make sense. He actually was offensive player of the year. You better find a way to stop the run, buddy. Oh my God, he actually got the block shed and he still didn't stop it. All right, so Eli Manning, I've got some nice abilities on him. Hot route master, gunslinger, set feet lead, and then blitz radar. He does have Hendricks in the middle too, though. Laporta, 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 Woo! I love Sam Laporta, baby. Fake PAT kicker flip pass against, against the Tampa 2 defense. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Stop me then. Stop me. Okay, they stopped me. We got Pat McAfee as our kicker. Might as well throw a dribbler in here. Why not, right? Oh my goodness, Chuck Howley. Okay, now that's a guy right there. That's a guy who plays the game the right way. You take one look at Chuck Howley, you don't think he's anything special, but then you go out there, you see him play hard-nosed, gritty football. I have nothing but respect for a guy like that who goes out there and plays the game the right way. You're clamped, you're clamped, you're clamped, you're clamped, you're clamped! No, Ronnie Lott, no! Stop it! You're not the, no! You have no athleticism, yes! Taylor Rapp! This is the guy I want with the football! Yeah, Taylor Rapp! That was for China, konnichiwa! You can't keep getting away with it! Let's ride, yes, great ball into Cooper Cup, the quintessential guy. Oh, you wanna press cover Braxton Berrios? You know, Braxton Berrios, not the fastest guy out there, but I tell you what, he gets his reps in. Shit, I'm not gonna lie. Braxton Berrios got bodied over there. Braxton Berrios, please give me 30 seconds with your wife, bro. I don't even need 30, 15 seconds with your wife. <laughs> gotta throw a hot one. Oh, that's too hot. No, it's not. He overplayed it. That was right at Teddy Boy. Ooh, but I like this. Chris Zinn McCaffrey with the joke outside. Throw him a little decoy route so we can hit the underneath. Beautiful. And see how he hangs on to the football. It wasn't the most explosive route in the world, but he hangs on to it. It's the fundamentals. That's what matters. Let's throw a weird ass play. Let's throw something stupid as shit. Play action wide receiver screen. That's what I'm talking about. I want the dumbest play you've ever seen. Play action, hit X. Oh my God, look at the entourage joke. Braxton Berrios, you have a hot wife for nothing, bro. All right, you want to see the grittiest route you've ever seen? We're giving Cooper Cup a corner route, and it's going to be so crispy that you're going to question your sanity. Hard cut, Cooper. Oh, my God, Cooper, I love you. <gasps> DPI, throw the flag. Yeah, that's another good part of having the all sneaky athletic squad. The refs are favorable, kind of like police officer. Holy shit. Matthew, stop it. Let's just throw the double team on him and do the exact same thing. Okay, I just double teamed him. How is he doing that against a double team? Third and goal. Jeez, if we can't score from here, you don't deserve to score. Bruh. What are you doing, McCaffrey? McCaffrey just ran into me. Okay. Fourth and goal. I'm coming out in the same formation, and I'm running halfback stretch. Oh my god. <laughs> You see the patience? That was a high IQ football play. Not sure Cooper Cup's a goal line fade guy. I guess he kind of is. I saw the Super Bowl. Oh my God, Eli. That's disgusting. No, this is a legacy game. All right, gentlemen, let's run it back. Read option Eli Manning. They don't teach you about that in high school. Oh my God, did he just do that to Vita Vea? Oh, we got a heater coming. Sammy boy, Sammy boy, I tried to tell him, wow, wow, what was that angle he took? What was that? Oh, did I have a tutty? I got Eli Manning. 
<laughs> Who doesn't fumble that? The real crime is not fumbling that. Let's go Alec Pierce. Oh my God, is that a fucking dotty? What is going on? Why is this team playing so well? He hit a little play action on the goal line. It got the user, Sammy. Dude, Laporta is so good. I'm gonna let my defense play. It don't matter. It, it does matter. It, it, it matters so much. Holy shit. What the fuck am I doing? Don't showbo! You're gonna get cooked! See, that's not how you play the game. That guy's got a lot of swagger, he's real athletic, explosive, but that is not the right way to play the game. And he's gonna learn the hard way. He's gonna really learn the hard way when he doesn't get this two-point conversion, and then he's just stuck in, like, two-point conversion hell. Thank you! Ted Hendricks and my children. Uh, he's so good! That's a dot! That's a dot! It's Braxton Berrios! It's Braxton Berrios block! Cooper! Cooper Cup, a staple of being a white wide receiver is downfield blocking! What are you doing? I think we just go inside zone again, honestly. It's there. Oh, excellent angle. Great blocks. That's what we needed. Gonna regress showboating, buddy. I could take the PAT and take a nine-point lead, but I'm gonna add insult to injury, and I'm gonna make this even worse for him. There he is. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. 16 to 6. Don't ever showboat. Ever! I'm gonna assert my dominance by using 91 Pat McAfee punter to onside kick straight in his face. <laughs> and I don't know why I emphasized punter there. McAfee had some nasty onside kicks. He's looking at... That is just such a questionable ball. You're lucky that white Iowa corner isn't in the league yet, because he would have picked that off. Throw another one. Throw another one! Taylor wraps down there! Uh-uh! Welcome to Shanghai! Fourth and ten. The buck stops here. He doesn't have- He wants that check down, but it's not gonna work. Oh my goodness! Box like a fish. That was a four and out. He did not get a positive yard on that drive. PA Crossers is putting this man in the blender right now. Braxton! Okay, that is Harold Carmichael, six foot eight, guarding Braxton Berrios, who I think is 5'11", 5 5'10". 5 All right, second and 10. We're going to put a little hot rod on Laporta so that he gets a nice route. Dude, that has been open all game. Big juke, another one. Mm. Now we put Laporte on the corner route, and I'll put Berrios on a corner route too. I don't know about Berrios, but I kind of want to try it. Oh no, Laporte has got his man. If it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't break it. Ah! Ah! Shit! Thick balls! He didn't have him at all! Eli, 71 speed, Eli. I need you so bad right now, Eli. Oh, McCaffrey! Thank you! That was gonna be really bad. He's gonna heave one up! No, Ronnie Lott. No, nobody saw that. Ronnie Lott, you're so white. Dude, don't yell at me. EA did Harrison Smith so dirty. He has no nothing usable in this game. Yo, if he wants to keep giving me this absolute beamer to Sammy. Okay, he got- No, actually, he switches to Cooper Cup, but I got it anyway. Oh, let's get weird. Okay, let's do this. The Porta! That has been open all day! Woo! I love you, Sam. Oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> this team is going off right now. Yeah, we definitely dance like we're white. One thing that's certain is he never should have showboated. 24 to 6. Three for three on our two-point conversions. <laughs> that was Eric McNary's second completed pass. Hendrix, 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 throw it. Throw the corner, throw this out route. I absolutely dare you. This guy just wants to go yard. We're gonna blitz Woodson. Oh shit, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. He didn't give me any time. I was trying to blitz Woodson and then man him up with rap. You will not catch my team doing that. Oh, that was the last play of the first quarter. He's gonna fail this. He's gonna fail the two point. I tried to tell him. Eyes in the back of his head. Hand steams got Christian McCaffrey, Braxton Berrios, and Alec Beers, just all the wide receivers. I'm gonna bring Keekly over just in case this gets a little haywire. Oh, I don't like that. I do like that. Cause I was so blatantly a flag. Okay, okay. I see my boy. I see my boy Braxton. He's gonna go with the fake blitz out of Peterson. <laughs> oh! He's a free inside zone too. Uh, okay, free wasn't the right word, but I'm still, I'm four for four on these two points. These juicy little two points. Taylor Rapp, it's all you, buddy. He's gonna heave one up. Puts it, oh. Everybody's favorite Jewish NFL player, Sauce Gardner. This guy only has one play in his arsenal. And it's fucking Hail Mary. Thank you. <laughs> No, Ronnie, stop it! Yes! Yes, Pat McAfee! Oh my god, Pat McAfee! <laughs> Let's go! All right, dude, honestly, this is so... What am I gonna run up 200 points here? I'm gonna go McCaffrey up the middle. Ay, got me. Damn it, that would've been the 40 bomb right there. This guy's got like a kink or something. I think he likes going online and just getting his ass whooped. Cause how are you still in this game? You gotta know when to hold him and you gotta know when to fold him. And you also gotta know when to quit gambling. And this guy needs to quit gambling. I think he just ran commit middle. Oh. 
Holy shit. This is racist. This is actually racist as fuck. How am I? This is the best I've ever played in my whole life. I've never put up points like this before. It's like a war of attrition. I think he knows that like, I don't want to be here anymore. All right, he's officially gotten to the griefing stage. So let's take a look at our player stats. Just in case he's going to quit. I want to see these. Eli Manning is nine for 13 with 308 yards. Christian McCaffrey, five for 61, 12.2 yards per carry and two touchdowns, two broken tackles. Obviously that huge run right there. Cubs got 70, Laporta's got 109. Ferris got 101, got 28 out of Alex Pierce and a touchdown. Dude, it's the opposite, bro. In Wheel of Mutt, I'll put up seven points and someone will quit. But with She Want Sunny D against the all white squad, this man has 46 hung on his head with three minutes left in the second. And he is now, actually, you know what? He, he left his Xbox, he did. He went into the kitchen to do the dishes. His mom's been bitching about it. He said, one more game of Madden. And uh, unfortunately this is uh, just the game he got in. And your peer has been kicked for excessive griefing. I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today, gentlemen. You know, what you were born with. It's not about your athleticism. It's not about any of that, okay? But if you're the first guy in, the last guy out, you can have that same result. Motivational speech. All right, gentlemen, hey. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!